Thanks, Angela. Tonight, only on 13, the story of a young woman targeted by carjackers as she arrived at her home. She cooperated, and tonight she spoke with our Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson about why the criminals ultimately took off and left her car behind. The victim in this case had just gotten home here on North Oxford after leaving work. And believe it or not, she made plans to get into the house safely, only to suddenly find a gun in her face. Sabrina Johnson showed us how she experienced the most dangerous moment of her life, sitting in the driver's seat of her car at home. She lives on North Oxford near Michigan Street, where her family has always felt reasonably safe. But shortly after midnight Thursday, Sabrina could not believe her eyes. I hear a tap on the window, and I look up, and I see a gun and a young man. And I look down and I'm like to myself, I, I know this is not what I'm seeing. And he says, <clears throat> excuse me, I heard him say, get out of the car. Sabrina's Mazda 3 requires the driver to have this key fob on them to operate the car. Not only is the ignition push button start, <laughs> but the car has a manual transmission, too. The mother, who is also a former National Guard soldier, cooperated with her young carjackers. I opened the door, and I got out, and I turned and walked away, went to my door and started banging and kicking and screaming. There was a little chuckle in my head that when I walked away that you're not going to get very far in anyways because the fob was in my pocket. That meant the carjackers had to leave on foot. And although they didn't get away with her car, now I'm scared to death. They did steal her sense of security, leaving her restless at night. I couldn't sleep. And every time I close my eyes, that's all I see is a kid, a child with a gun in his hand trying to steal my car. And a car is replaceable, but a person's not. Sabrina doubts if anyone here on her street, North Oxford, saw the suspects, but since they may be connected to other crimes, she hoping police can find them. If you can help, call Crime Stoppers. The telephone number is 262 TIPS. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.